This is the Omas Certified Fountain Pen. That's a gorgeous fountain pen, and the first thing you'll notice about it when you pick it up is it is extremely lightweight. At 19 grams, it's the lightest fountain pen that I've used yet. Um, it was a little off-putting actually when I first picked it up to write with it just because it is so light, but it is one gorgeous fountain pen. It has um, the ubiquitous Greek key engraving that Omas is famous for, surrounded by two r metal rings around that. It also has this fun pen clip here with the roller wheel so that you can get it in and out of pockets quite easily. You can see it's got a 12-sided design. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. You see the light flashing kind of around the 12 sides. I didn't know if that would be comfortable or not, but turns out it's extremely comfortable to write with for long periods. An oversized nib here, um, length and width-wise, you can see it's a bigger than normal, nice ebonite feed in the back um, for longer writing sessions. And if you want to take a look at the, um, the section, everything on this pen is cotton resin. That's what makes it so lightweight. Um, the finish, fit and finish on this pen, everything is palladium plated, so it's going to wear very well over time. There's only, um, this pen is only available in black, yellow, and red. Obviously, I have the red example here. And because it's an anniversary edition pen for Omas, there's only producing uh, 1,931 of these in each finish. So I feel very fortunate to be able to test one for you today. Um, it takes about three rotations to get the cap on and off. This particular pen is piston fill only, um, so you just twist this knob back and forth. I just cleaned this pen, so I'm not going to do that for you, or I'll end up with a mess all over my paper here. But you just twist this knob back and forth um, with the nib submerged in a bottle of ink, and that'll draw the ink into the pen for you. Um, it's a semi-flex, so again, I just cleaned it. Let's hope it's dry, but you can see the tines here. If you add some pressure, you can splay the tines. It'll give you a little bit of flex. Um, not like a true flex pen, of course, but it, it does more than normal um, for sure, and you'll see that show up in your writing. The only thing I didn't like about this pen, and I, I love this pen, don't get me wrong, but the only thing I didn't like about it was that the flex, I don't write with enough pressure to really engage that flex very often. So if you want to get the nice um, you know, line width on your downstrokes, you're going to have to use a lot of pressure. There's a um, writing sample of that on my website. There's a, in this particular certified, there's a tiny bit of tooth on um, the upstroke. I only noticed it when I rotated the nib outside of its sweet spot. There tends to be a, a very um, specific sweet spot on this pin where you just have to hold it a very precise way to get it to write how you want. Otherwise it does um, have a little bit of tooth on that upstroke, but nothing, nothing horrible. It is a wet writer, not quite as wet as its cousin, um, the Malord, which I'm in love with this pen, the Malord. But it is wet and it does write very well. It's a it's a great fountain pen. It posts very well, and like I said, it's so super light you won't you won't notice it on there. The only thing that that is odd is it makes when you post it makes this pen extremely long, so it uh, does tend to hover outside of your hand, and but it's not heavier than you would think. It's it's very easy to write with, even even with it posted, even though it's super long. If you'd like to see more pictures of this pen, you can check out my website at bestfountainpen.com. There's also a writing sample on my site.